Kalota you in channel. Encyclopedia of Children. Today we will talk in the subject, why kids get involved with drugs. The most dangerous types of drugs. How can we protect our children? During the teen years your child is also going through some key developmental changes including separating from you, establishing their own identity, which may include challenging your values, and starting to make more independent decisions. You might start to feel unwelcome as your child pulls away from you physically and emotionally but your child actually needs you to be involved in their life now more than ever. Risks of alcohol and drug use increase during significant social transitions including starting middle or high school and getting a driver's license. Often these transition times are associated with more independence. These are critical times for you to stay involved in your child's life. Your child is meeting new kids, is more interested in peer acceptance, and is more likely to be exposed to older kids who may be using substances. What you need to know now is, why kids get involved with drugs. Some kids become druggies because they can't figure out another way to fit in. The entrance requirements for the drug clique are easy. Just use and buy drugs. Presto. You have a group to hang with. For kids who are lonely or feeling they don't have what it takes to gain membership in another high school group, this is very, very seductive. Some kids get in over their heads and don't know how to get out. What started as a way to fit in takes on a life of its own. Other kids threaten them if they try to leave the group. I even know of kids who were told that the group would hurt their family if they didn't steal, deal, and use. What looked like escalating criminal activity was really a frantic attempt to protect their family. Some kids who use drugs are self-medicating. I've worked with several kids who discovered that they felt better when they tried marijuana at a party. They kept using because they liked the relief. It turned out that they were suffering from an untreated depression or a high level of anxiety. When we got them on proper medication, they no longer abused illegal drugs. Some kids have the mistaken idea that in order to be okay they have to be better than other people. They know they can't compete with the good kids in the family or at school. They have the idea that they can't be a star in any area that counts to their peers. Their self-esteem then depends on finding at least some way to be better than other people. So they become the best at being worst. It may be painful but it works. Some kids use drugs for all the attention it gets them. If he were the perfect child, would he get anywhere near the same amount of attention from you? Does he know that he would? Is it possibly true that he just doesn't have any outstanding academic, sports or artistic talents but has ambitions for fame? In his discouragement, he may have turned to the only arena where he feels he can be successful. If being a star achiever isn't possible, being a gangster will have to do. From his point of view, at least he'll be noticed. Some kids are just plain bored. Playing with criminal behavior is exciting. The drama and risk of getting drugs, hiding them, using them, and maybe even selling them is its own kind of high. If he were seeing me for therapy, I'd be asking a kid like this how it is that he isn't involved in something that gives him a natural high? What is he doing for excitement? What kind of risk taking actually makes a kind of sense? What activity might stretch him beyond his comfort zone in a positive way? Some kids think that using drugs is normal. They have friends whose parents smoke dope with them. They know adults who rationalize their own illegal drug use by stating that it is no worse than alcohol and should be legalized anyway. They watch TV and see ads for all kinds of medications for all kinds of ills. Feeling down? Take a drug. Can't sleep. Pop a pill. Can't have sex? There's a drug for that too. Some movies glorify the drug culture. Some music makes it all sound very, very cool. Parents need to model meeting challenges in other ways. We need to teach our kids about the satisfaction and excitement that comes from stretch. And, of course, there is the possibility of a true addiction. 
It's simply not true that kids don't develop a dependence on marijuana. Some do. It's also possible that you don't know what else your kid has been taking. What you should do now. Give your child information about the meaning of the drug. Drug addiction is a dependence on an illegal drug or a medication. When you're addicted, you may not be able to control your drug use and you may continue using the drug despite the harm it causes. Drug addiction can cause an intense craving for the drug. You may want to quit, but most people find they can't do it on their own. Here, we're not talking about kids mistakenly taking the wrong dose of legal medicines or taking a stronger than necessary medicine for an ailment. We are talking about drug abuse kids using prescription and OTC drugs on purpose to get high. This practice is life-threatening and a kid can die doing it for the first time. For many people, what starts as casual use leads to drug addiction. Drug addiction can cause serious, long-term consequences, including problems with physical and mental health, relationships, employment and the law. You may need help from your doctor, family, friends, support groups or an organized treatment program to overcome your drug addiction and stay drug-free. Give your child information on the types of drugs and their consequences. Here I will talk about their most dangerous types of drugs and their effects. Hallucinogens Hallucinogens describe a class of drugs that produce hallucinations. A hallucination is an illusion of seeing or hearing something that is not actually there. Hallucinogens can be produced naturally or synthetically. The most commonly known hallucinogen is synthetic lysergic acid diethylamide, LSD, which is sold as a liquid or an absorbent tab or small square of paper. Natural hallucinogenic chemicals are found in plants such as the peyote cactus, mescaline, and some mushrooms, psilocybin. Certain drugs such as cannabis and ecstasy may produce hallucinogenic effects at high doses or in other circumstances where hallucinogens come from. Lysergic acid diethylamide is the most commonly used hallucinogen in Australia. LSD was first produced in 1938 by Albert Hoffman, a Swiss chemist. The drug is usually sold on small pieces of absorbent paper, tabs, decorated with popular designs, such as smiley faces and cartoons. It may also be sold on sugar cubes small squares of gelatin or in capsule, tablet or liquid form. Mescaline is native to Mexico and was used by the Mexican Indians in their religious ceremonies. Mescaline is usually dried and refined into a powder, which varies from white to brown in color. Psilocybin is a chemical found in mushrooms, known as magic mushrooms or golden top mushrooms, which are commonly found growing in Australia. Psilocybin may be sold as crude mushroom preparations or whole drug. How hallucinogens are used. Lysergic acid diethylamide is usually swallowed. When swallowed, the effects start within 30 to 60 minutes and peak in 3 to 5 hours. The effects usually last for up to 9 hours, but they can last for 24 hours. Mescaline can be chewed or boiled into a liquid and drunk. Its effects last from 4 to 6 hours. Magic mushrooms are either eaten raw, cooked, made into a drink or dried for later consumption. The effects usually last from 4 to 6 Health effects of using hallucinogens The effects of hallucinogens will vary from person to person depending on characteristics of their individual, user, mood, physical size, health, gender previous experience with hallucinogens, expectations of the drug, personality, whether the person has had food and whether other drugs have been taken. Drug the amount used, its purity, and the way it is taken. Setting, environment, whether the person is using with friends, on his, her own, in a social setting or at home, at work or before driver. Short-term effects. Dilation of pupils. Increase in heart rate and blood pressure. Increase in body temperature and sweating. Seeing things in a distorted way or seeing things that do not exist. Dizziness. 
drowsiness, nausea, intense sensory experiences, bright colors, sharper sounds, impaired coordination and tremors, distorted sense of time, minutes can seem like hours, varying emotions, distorted sense of space and body, tension and anxiety leading to panic attacks, long-term effects, flashbacks a spontaneous and unpredictable recurrence of prior drug experience, tripping, without taking the drug, flashbacks may occur days, weeks or years after the drug was last taken, they can be triggered by the use of other drugs, stress, fatigue, and physical exercise or for no apparent reason. Increased risk of developing severe mental disturbances in those who have a predisposition to the condition. Impaired memory and concentration. Tolerance. S overdose. While there are no reported cases of fatal overdoses directly from hallucinogens there are still significant risks associated with the use of these drugs. When consuming hallucinogens, such as LSD, a person's perception is affected which can lead to people placing themselves in risky situations. With magic mushrooms it is often difficult to distinguish between them and poisonous lookalikes. Some poisonous mushrooms can cause permanent liver damage or death within hours of being consumed. It is very dangerous to pick and eat wild mushrooms, hallucinogens and other drugs. Hallucinogen users sometimes take more than one drug at the same time polydrug use. Effects can be unpredictable when two or more different drugs are combined. Using hallucinogens with other drugs such as alcohol or amphetamines, speed, increases the risk of complications and side effects, and can lead to a variety of serious physical and psychological problems. Hallucinogens and mental health problems. Hallucinogen use can cause anxiety, depression, paranoia and psychosis in those people who have a vulnerability to mental health problems. Ecstasy Ecstasy is the name given to methylene dioxymethamphetamine, MDMA. Ecstasy is a derivative of the amphetamine group and has both stimulant and hallucinogenic properties. It is sometimes referred to as a psychedelic amphetamine. Ecstasy does not always contain just MDMA. Ecstasy pills are often mixed with a variety of other substances including aspirin, caffeine and ketamine, a veterinary anesthetic agent. Sometimes drugs containing no MDMA are sold as ecstasy. This makes it difficult for people to know what they are taking. Where ecstasy come from? Methylene dioxymethamphetamine was first synthesized by Merck Pharmaceuticals in 1912. It was originally developed as an appetite suppressant, although it was never actually used for this purpose. In the 1970s, MDMA was used in American therapy classes to enhance communication. Ecstasy became available in Australia in the mid 1980s, and became an illegal drug in 1987. How ecstasy is used. Ecstasy tablets or capsules are usually swallowed. When swallowed, the effects become apparent within 30 minutes and last for up to 6 hours. The hangover effects may last for up to 24 hours. Ecstasy may also be taken by suppository, snorting, smoking or injecting crushed tablets. As ecstasy usually comes in tablet form, it is not designed to be injected. The tablets are bound by a chalky substance, which if injected, can cause blocked veins or other unpleasant effects such as abscesses, blood poisoning, septicemia, and gangrene. Health effects of using ecstasy. Effect. The effects of ecstasy will vary from person to person depending on characteristics of their individual, user, mood, physical size, health, gender. Previous experience with ecstasy, expectations of the drug, personality, whether the person has had food and whether other drugs have been taken. Drug the amount used its purity, and whether it is taken as a suppository, by snorting, smoking or injecting. Setting, environment, whether the person is using with friends, on his, her own, in a social setting or at home, 
at work or before driving. Short-term effects. Overheating and dehydration, which can cause muscle meltdown. Excessive water consumption can result in a breakdown of cell structure, which can cause cells to swell, burst and die. Feeling of well-being and exaggerated confidence. Anxiety. Jaw clenching and teeth grinding. Poor concentration. Insomnia. Increased pulse rate and blood pressure. Hot and cold flushes, sweating. Nausea. Long-term effects. Depression. Drowsiness. Muscle aches. Loss of appetite. Insomnia. Loss of concentration. Irritability. Research suggests that weekend use of ecstasy may lead to a depressed mood midweek. There are also dangerous effects associated with the method of use. Snorting can damage the fragile mucous membrane in the nasal passages. It produces burns and sores on the membranes that line the interior of the nose. Injecting ecstasy can result in blocked blood vessels that can cause major damage to the body's organs, such as inflamed blood vessels and abscesses, blood poisoning, bacterial infections which may damage the heart valves, vein collapse, infection at injection site, bruising or more serious injuries if users inject into an artery or tissue. Overdose Overdose usually results from the body overheating and becoming dehydrated, which can cause muscle meltdown and possible death from failure of major organs such as liver or kidneys. Overdose may also occur from excessive water consumption and retention, leading the body's cells to swell which can result in brain damage and death. The risk of overdose increases with a larger dose. Ecstasy and other drugs Ecstasy users sometimes take other drugs such as minor tranquilizers and alcohol to cope with some of the undesirable effects experienced after using ecstasy. They may also use ecstasy in conjunction with other drugs such as cannabis, amphetamines, LSD or alcohol. Using more than one drug, polydrug use, increases the risk of complications and serious side effects and can lead to a variety of serious physical and psychological problems. For example, using ecstasy with other drugs that dehydrate the body, such as speed and alcohol, can increase the problems associated with dehydration. Ecstasy and mental health problems. Ecstasy use can cause anxiety, depression, paranoia and psychosis in those people who have a vulnerability to mental health problems cocaine. Cocaine is a stimulant drug which affects the central nervous system by speeding up the activity of certain chemicals in the brain, producing a feeling of increased alertness and reduced fatigue. Where cocaine comes from? Cocaine is manufactured from the coca plant, which grows naturally in Peru and Bolivia. For centuries, the Peruvian Indians chewed coca leaves to lessen fatigue caused by high-altitude living. In 1859, a technique was discovered to extract cocaine hydrochloride from the coca leaves, which was used as an effective local anesthetic. Cocaine hydrochloride was also used in many commercial products and was an ingredient in Coca-Cola until 1903. In the 1920s, Cocaine was banned in most Western countries, except for medical use. How cocaine is used? Is usually snorted or swallowed, but can be injected or smoked in the form of crack or freebase. Smoking crack or freebase is uncommon in Australia. Health effects of using cocaine. The effects of cocaine will vary from person to person depending on characteristics of their individual, user mood, physical size, health, gender, previous experience with cocaine, expectations of the drug, personality, whether the person has had food and whether other drugs have been taken, drug the amount used, its purity, and whether it is smoked, swallowed, snorted or injected, setting, environment, whether the person is using with friends, on his, her own, in a social setting or at home, at work or before drive. Short-term effects. Increased breathing and pulse rates. 
Increased blood pressure. High body temperature. Increased alertness. Reduced appetite. Feeling of well-being. Enlarged pupils. Anxiety, irritability and suspiciousness. Inability to sleep. Long-term effects. Tolerance and dependence. Aggressive or violent behavior. Loss of appetite, weight loss and malnutrition. Irritability or emotional disturbances. Restlessness. Paranoia. Periods of psychosis. Auditory hallucinations. Convulsions. Reduced resistance to infection. There are also dangerous effects associated with the method of use. Snorting can damage the fragile mucous membrane in the nasal passages. It produces burns and sores on the membranes that line the interior of the nose. Injecting cocaine can result in blocked blood vessels that can cause major damage to the body's organs, inflamed blood vessels and abscesses, blood poisoning, bacterial infections which may damage the heart valves, vein collapse, infection at injection site, bruising or more serious injuries if users inject into an artery or tissue. Overdose Overdose can cause Increased heart rate Seizures Hyperventilation Heart failure Burst blood vessels in the brain Death Cocaine and other drugs Cocaine users may use other drugs such as minor tranquilizers, cannabis, alcohol, or heroin to cope with some of the undesirable effects of cocaine and the dependence on several drugs may develop. For example, users may find themselves needing cocaine to get them going in the day and tranquilizers each night to go to sleep. This kind of dependence can lead to a variety of very serious physical and psychological problems. Using more than one drug on any one occasion, polydrug use, increases the risk of complications and serious side effects. An example is the use of cocaine and then another drug, such as amphetamines, while cocaine is still active in the body. As street cocaine is rarely pure, the users cannot be certain which other drugs have been added to the cocaine. This can result in unplanned polydrug use and serious side cocaine and mental health problems. Cocaine use can cause anxiety, depression, paranoia and psychosis in those people who have a vulnerability to mental health problems. Heroin Heroin is a depressant it affects the body's central nervous system by slowing down the activity of certain chemicals in the brain this slows down the whole body, including breathing and heart rate where heroin comes from. Heroin belongs to a group of drugs called narcotic analgesics or opioids. These drugs are very strong pain relievers. Opioids are derived from a substance produced by the opium poppy which, when dried is known as opium. Heroin is manufactured from morphine or codeine, which are chemicals in the juice of the opium poppy head. Heroin is a stronger and more addictive drug than morphine or codeine. People have used opium for several thousand years in a variety of cultures. Heroin was first synthesized in 1898 in a London hospital to treat morphine addiction. The opium poppy grows in many parts of the world. In Australia, crops are grown legally in Tasmania for medical purposes. Most of the illegal heroin in Australia comes from Asia. How heroin is used. Heroin is usually injected, but can also be smoked or snorted. The effects of heroin usually last from 2 to 4 hours. Health effects of using heroin. The effects of heroin will vary from person to person depending on the characteristics of their individual, user, mood, physical size, health gender, previous experience with heroin, expectations of the drug, personality, whether the person has had food and whether other drugs have been taken, drug the amount used, its purity, and whether it is injected, smoked or snorted, setting, environment, whether the person is using with friends, on his, her own, in a social setting or at home, at work or before driving, short-term effect, 
low doses, shallow breathing, nausea and vomiting, constipation, sleeplessness, loss of balance and coordination, loss of concentration, feeling of well-being, relief from pain, high doses, slow breathing, pupils narrow to pinpoint, skin cold to touch, coma and death, long-term effects, dependence, loss of appetite, chronic constipation, heart, chest and bronchial problems women often experience irregular periods and are susceptible to infertility. Men can experience impotence. There are also dangerous effects associated with the method of use. Injecting heroin can result in blocked blood vessels that can cause major damage to the body's organs, inflamed blood vessels and abscesses, blood poisoning, bacterial infections which may damage the heart valves, vein collapse, infection at injection site, bruising or more serious injuries if users inject into an artery or tissue. Snorting can damage the fragile mucous membrane in the nasal passages, producing burns and sores on the membranes that line the interior of the nose. Overdose, overdose from heroin occurs as a result of the depressant properties of the drug. Heroin can slow a person's heart and breathing rates, leading to heart and respiratory failure, and in turn, to coma and death. The risk of heroin overdose generally increases with a larger dose. As the strength and content of street heroin is unknown it can be difficult to judge the dose, increasing the risk of overdose, heroin and other drugs. Using more than one drug at a time can have unpredictable and dangerous effects. Mixing heroin with other drugs increases the risk of harm, for example, mixing heroin with alcohol, benzodiazepines or other depressants can be fatal as it increases the risk of heart failure. Cannabis Cannabis is difficult to classify pharmacologically because it has a variety of effects. It is primarily a depressant drug, however, it can have hallucinogenic and some stimulant properties. Delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol THC, is the psychoactive ingredient in cannabis. This chemical affects a person's mood and perception. Marijuana, hashish and hashish oil come from the cannabis plant. Cannabis is made from the dried leaves and flowers of the plant. Its color ranges from grayish green to greenish brown. The texture of cannabis can be fine, like dried herbs, or coarse, like tea. It is usually smoked in hand-rolled cigarettes called joints or water pipes called bongs. Hashish, hash, is the dried, compressed resin extract from the flowering tops of the female plant. Hashish ranges in color from light brown to nearly black. It is more potent than marijuana. Hashish is usually smoked through a pipe or cooked in foods and eaten. Hashish oil is a thick and oily liquid extract from the cannabis plant. It is reddish brown in color. The THC is very concentrated and a small amount will produce marked effects. Hash. Where cannabis comes from. Cannabis is the short name for the hemp plant cannabis sativa. It is thought to have originated in Asia and reached Europe more than a thousand years ago. Thousand years ago. How cannabis is used. Cannabis is usually smoked. The THC is quickly absorbed into the bloodstream through the walls of the lungs. The intoxicating or high effect is felt when the THC reaches the brain. This can happen within a few minutes and may last for up to five hours. When cannabis is eaten, the absorption of THC is much slower, taking up to three hours to enter the bloodstream. When it is eaten, the amount of food in the stomach, characteristics of the user, for example weight, gender and other drugs used, will determine how quickly a person feels the effects. Health Effects of Using Cannabis The effects of cannabis and the risks will vary from person to person depending on the characteristics of the individual, user, mood, physical size, physical and mental health, gender, previous experience with cannabis, expectations of the drug and personality. 
drug the amount used the content of THC and whether it is smoked or eaten. Setting, environment, whether the person is using with friends, on his, her own, in a social setting or at home, at work or before driving. Short term effects. Loss of concentration. Impaired balance. Slower reflexes. Increased appetite. Increased heart rate. Feeling of well being. Loss of inhibitions. Confusion. Long term effects. Bronchitis. Lung cancer. Dependence. Interference with sexual drive and hormone production. Change in motivation. Decreased concentration. Decreased memory and learning abilities. Schizophrenia and manic depression, bipolar disorder, in those who have a vulnerability to the condition. Overdose. There have been no confirmed deaths directly from cannabis overdose. Over a long period of time regular use of cannabis can lead to a number of serious negative health consequences. Combining other drugs, such as alcohol, with cannabis can be very dangerous, particularly if driving or operating machinery. Cannabis and other drugs. Using cannabis with other drugs increases risks. If cannabis is used in conjunction with other depressant drugs the depressant action generally increases. When cannabis is combined with alcohol it can frequently lead to behavior which causes injuries. For example, because cannabis interferes with a person's motor and coordination skills, vision and perceptions of time and space, the ability to drive safely and complete tasks that require concentration can be impaired. This impairment increases substantially when cannabis is used with alcohol. Cannabis and mental health problems. The frequent or even occasional use of cannabis can cause anxiety, depression, paranoia and psychosis in those people who have a vulnerability to mental health problems. Cannabis and the brain. Frequent use of cannabis can affect the brain by decreasing the user's ability to concentrate and remember things and can also impact on learning ability. Cannabis and respiratory problems. Frequent use of cannabis can increase the risk of cancer and respiratory disorders such as asthma, bronchitis and emphysema. Marijuana Marijuana is the most commonly used illegal drug in the United States. It is made from the dried leaves and flowering tops of the Indian hemp plant cannabis sativa. People smoke, chew, or eat marijuana for its hallucinogenic and intoxicating effects. The flowering tops of the cannabis plant secrete a sticky resin that contains the active ingredient of marijuana, known as delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol (THC). The plant has both male and female forms. The sticky flowers of the female plant are the most potent. Hashish is a similar drug prepared from the same plant. It differs from marijuana in that it is made of only the resin from the plant, but where marijuana is made up of flowering tops and leaves. The main active chemical in marijuana is THC, delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol. The membranes of certain nerve cells in the brain contain protein receptors that bind to THC. Once securely in place, THC initiates a series of cellular reactions that lead to the high that users experience when they smoke marijuana. There are usually phases in marijuana use there are, intoxication, initial stimulation, which includes giddiness and euphoria, followed by sedation and pleasant tranquility. Mood changes are often accompanied by altered perceptions of time and space. Thinking processes become disrupted by fragmentary ideas and memories. Other feelings include increased appetite, heightened sensory awareness, and general feelings of pleasure. Negative effects of marijuana use can include confusion, acute panic reactions, anxiety attacks, fear, a sense of helplessness and loss of self-control. Like alcohol intoxication, marijuana intoxication impairs judgment, comprehension, memory, speech, problem-solving ability, reaction time, and driving skills.
Although marijuana is not physically addicting and no physical withdrawal symptoms occur when use is discontinued, psychological dependence develops in some 10 to 20 percent of long-term regular users. Smoking marijuana can damage their lungs, and long-term, How can we protect our children? All children are at risk of developing substance abuse problems if they are exposed to addicting substances and use them repeatedly. But a number of risk factors increase the chances that they will become addicted, including family history alcoholism or addiction in the family, family environment domestic violence or child abuse lack of adult supervision psychology childhood aggression lack of problem solving skills depression compulsiveness school rejection by peers lack of commitment to school if your child has some of these risk factors he or she is not doomed to become a substance abuser even kids at high risk may never develop an addiction by taking steps now you can help your child avoid or delay any drug experimentation and delay is key Kids who start experimenting at an early age are at considerably higher risk for developing addictions. Someone who makes it to age 20 without abusing drugs, alcohol is less likely to develop a substance abuse problem. Here are just a few of the things you can do. 1. Do a family history to determine whether your family has shown signs of alcoholism or other addiction. If so, your children are especially vulnerable. Let them know they can take steps such as abstaining from substances that cause addiction. 2. Evaluate your own use of tobacco, alcohol, and drugs. If you walk in the door at night and grab a beer, or light up a cigarette every time you get tense, what are you conveying to your child about how to cope with life and its stresses? 3. Foster strong family bonds to help counter powerful peer influences. If kids have a sense of belonging within their own families, they will be less likely to seek it elsewhere. 4. Set clear expectations for behavior. In a major survey, thousands of teens reported that their biggest reason for choosing not to drink, or drinking less than they would have, is that their parents would be upset by it. 5. Let your kids know they can talk to you about anything, without harsh judgment or lectures and be on the lookout for teachable moments, like when your child raises the subject of drugs, or when an anti-drug commercial comes on TV. 6. Expose your children to activities like sports, art, music, reading, or drama, so that they develop avid interests. When kids are bored, they are more likely to experiment. 7. Help your child feel a part of his or her school. Go to school functions with your child whenever you can. Research shows that children who feel bonded with their school are less likely to use substances. 8. Teach your child to make independent decisions. Allow your kids to make some of their own decisions, so that, when faced with offers of drugs or alcohol, they can resist pressure. 9. Teach your child to cope with frustration and stress. When your child is upset, help him or her to learn ways to feel better, like talking about it, taking a walk, or relaxation techniques. 10. Teach your child to be skeptical of sales pitches. Whether watching commercials or passing a billboard advertising cigarettes or alcohol, help your child discern between the salesperson's interest and his or her own. Dear viewers, we have come to the end of the subject. Thank you for watching. If you like the subject do not forget to click the button like. Subscribe to our channel to receive all the new. Follow us on.